meeting. Before we start the meeting, I'd ask uh, Sue Richards, our city clerk, to start us off with the quotation of the week. Thank you, Mayor. To get out of difficulty, one usually has to go through it. To discover the limits of the possible, go beyond them into the impossible. For happiness is enhanced by others, but does not depend on others. Thank you, Sue. Call the 11th regular meeting of the Common Council of Order. Would you please call the roll? Boren? Here. Berg? Here. Serta? Here. Davis? Here. Graf? Here. Hannah? Here. Kittleson? Here. Clionis? Here. Manny? Here. Meyer? Here. Montemayor? Here. Radke? Here. Ryan? Here. Susha? Here. Vanderweel? Here. And Verhasselt? Here. 16 present. Quorum is present. Alderman Manny, would you please lead us in pledging our allegiance to the beautiful country we live in? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Alderman Manny. Next item is the approval of the minutes of the last meeting. President Berg. Uh, I move to approve the minutes as uh, entered into the record. Motion and a second. Any discussion? There being none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. The next item on the agenda is proclamation for the POWAMIA recognition week. And I'd ask uh, Jerry to please come up. This proclamation is particularly important for us tonight as we continue to witness our young men and women in Iraq fighting for us to be here today, tonight. And not just necessarily fighting, but in some instances dying, and in some instances not even people knowing where they're at. And this is what this proclamation is about today. Proclamation, whereas since its founding, the United States has fought in numerous wars and military actions and ten, tens of thousands of Americans, including a great many from Wisconsin, who served in such wars and military actions were captured or were missing in action. And whereas many American prisoners of war were subjected to brutal and inhumane treatment by their enemy captors in violation of international codes and customs for the treatment of prisoners of war. And many such prisoners of war died while in captivity. And whereas the people of the city of Sheboygan recognized that its sacrifices of all American prisoners of war and those who are still missing in action and their families are deserving of a special tribute. Now therefore I, Juan Perez, by, the virt by virtue of the authority vested in me as mayor, do proclaim POW MIA Recognition Week in the city of Sheboygan and I call upon all citizens of our city to join me in observing this day, these days, September 10th through the September 16th, with appropriate remembrance and, activi and activities. Chair. Thank you. Thank you for all you have done for our country and the men and women that have served as well. Because of you, we are here today. Thank you. It means a lot to me. Thank you, Mayor. Don't go away. We still got to have you up here, sir. I just want to give me great honor to accept this proclamation tonight. Uh, this will be posted in our post on 1138 Union Avenue. You can come down and see it anytime you want it. We have a display of all the veterans that have earned medals since 1924. We're the fourth oldest post in the state of Wisconsin, and we're very proud of it. Come and see us. And I would still want to thank everybody for having this happen. Also you, Jim. Thank you. Thank you.
Uh, on behalf of all who serve, uh, first of all, Mayor, thank you, uh, members of the Common Council. Uh, you've probably all seen the black and white POW MIA flag. And I thought it would be kind of nice if we just have it fly for a week instead of just have it fly for one day to remember those men and women who served and sacrificed. Uh, I hope we can realize three, a couple of different things from this. One, as you see the flag flying, you will remember that many men and women served, were captured, some never returned, some did return. Those who returned became pillars in the community, raised a family, and became contributing members of society. We hope as you see that flag or the lapel pin or the black and white symbol that you remember these men and think of the things that they went through, the courage that it took to survive and live. On the other side of the flag is the missing in action. There are countless thousands of families who will never know closure simply because there is no accounting for their loved ones. We hope that when you see this symbol, this flag, you'll uh, share a bit of, of sorrow, uh, sympathy with them, and know that, and hope that they know and realize that on this day, when you see this flag for this moment, you're sharing their sorrow with them. And it, we also need to hold the feet, the feet to the fire of our elected leaders in Washington to ensure that the funding continues for the research and finding of remains. And we also, <clears throat> we also hope that those countries who may be uh, harboring American troops or the remains, that they cooperate with the JPAC people in returning these uh, remains or the uh, loved ones to their rightful owners, either repatriation with honor or joy and happiness when they meet on the other side. Thank you. Mayor, I hope you will see that someone from maintenance gets this up on the building sometime this week. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. The city of Sheboygan will be proud to fly this flag. Next, we have an announcement of the Water Commissioner's election <coughs> announcement. <coughs> President Byrd. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Mayor. Uh, prior to making that announcement, there are a couple other announcements that I feel are germane. Uh, first off, a belated happy birthday to Alderman Vanderweele. I understand that in 16 <coughs> years, 360 days, he will be eligible for ARP membership. <laughs> uh, and um, uh, there's another announcement I think that uh, I'd like to make. It gives me great pleasure to make it. About uh, one hour ago, Mayor Juan Perez became Grandfather Juan Perez. It is my understanding that's your second appointment to this office and that both uh, grandchild and grandfather are doing very well. Uh, yes, sir. That being in mind, thank you. <laughs> Speaking of infants, the third... Uh, announcement does seem to segue into that and that relates to uh, the uh, entertaining nominations for a member to the board of the water commissioners. Uh, interested applicants uh, should direct a letter to me not later than the 15th of this month and it will be calendared for council action on the 18th. Thank you. Thank you, President Berg. <clears throat> Next item on the agenda is a public forum. Uh, Madam City Clerk. Uh, yes, first we have Dimple Adams. Ms. Adams. <clears throat> and Dimple, can you give me your home address, please? 1424 Virginia Avenue, Sheboygan. Okay, and you will have five minutes. Thank you. Um, Good evening, Council. Good evening, Mayor. Good evening, Susan and Attorney McLean. Congratulations, Mayor. Is this your first grandchild? Second. Aren't they wonderful? Yes, they are. I wouldn't trade mine in for anything. Um, Council, I'm really delighted to be here tonight. Um, I, um, I think I, I, when I spoke a couple of weeks ago, I said something about that the next fight was going to be about what kind of police station we were going to build. And of course, when I looked at the agenda tonight, I saw that it's coming right away with um, 1160. And that is the um, motion to refer to the public protection and safety by Alderman Meyer. 
about uh, moving the police garage down to the city service building on New Jersey Avenue. I kind of relate that to if I were building a new house and um, I decided to put my garage across town, you know, to store my vehicle in. Uh, that doesn't make any sense to me. And I think it has been gone over several times why the police guard garage needs to be where the police station is because police cars have very special equipment in them and that's why the mechanic needs to work in a garage that is not open to other um, facilities. Um, so I, I really want you to think seriously about this before you would split the garage away from the department. Again, this is backdooring, taking away items from the police department. I pay taxes in this city, and I think for where I live, it's a significant amount of taxes. And I think that I am paying for quality protection and safety. And I think if this would be the first step of taking away a big quality of protection and safety, if you move that garage away from the police station. Okay, the other thing I want to talk about tonight <laughs> is the thing that's been going on for the last two months, and that is CRG of Sheboygan, which I am a member and treasurer of. As most of you have probably heard now, we were short, but we did get a significant number of signatures. When I say a significant number of signatures, I'm talking 3,028. This was done in two months' time. It was done by a number of people that I'd like to thank. Uh, there isn't enough thanks in the world. And you did it with your head up high. You did it with a great deal of dignity. And you did it in spite of a lot of negative press, which I brought tonight. It shows that um, we were called racist. We were called bigots. We were called spiteful. We were called, um, and it went on endless for the last two months. <coughs> so I think, um, and we were called losers. And um, I personally took great issue uh, with being called a racist. Uh, I have a Hispanic daughter-in-law for the last 15 years. I have a granddaughter that has two African-American uh, brothers. And, um, there's, you know, this was never an issue about that. And the one thing that I'm very proud that CRG did was stick with the issues. I only wish that that had happened on the other side. However, you know, I think that, you know, with all things, something good can come of it. And it wasn't that we were being mean or spiteful or insightful. A lot of things were discovered during this time with the open records, and more than we even knew. We already knew that this council had an agenda, and this mayor had an agenda about taking away the police department. That has been proven with the Act 40. That started last summer with Mr. Boren's letter to, to public protection and safety to this council. And, and that's been proven, all right? You can say, no, that's not what we meant. But we do know that that's what you meant. And um, the people spoke very vehem vehemently about that. And we're speaking about it again tonight. We're not gonna backdoor it either. We're not gonna let you build a police station that is not complete. You know, I don't think the people of Sheboygan want that. They spoke about that earlier. Another thing is, you can say, well, you failed. No, we didn't fail. We brought a lot of subjects to light. We found out that um, maybe op open quorum meetings were being violated. Excuse me, Dimple, you have one more minute if you want. Thank one. you, okay. Susan. Thanks. We found out that there's been an investigation going on about the hiring of Yolanda Groff. We didn't know that. So there's a lot of issues that are going on that need to be discussed. And we would like to do that. And uh, you can say, well, Dimple, you failed. 
you know, give it up. No, we didn't fail. 3,000 at 28 signatures is significant. And these were verified today by newsman Mike Kinzel at the WHBL, and then we shredded them. And you can say, <laughs> why did you do that? We shredded them because we did not want to be scrutinized. We did not want people to be intimidated. We promised at every CRG meeting that if we didn't come up with the needed signatures and we did not file them, that they would be destroyed. So we were keeping our word. Dimple, your time is up. Can I have another minute, please? There's an ordinance, there's an ordinance that was passed for, for particularly this reason. Uh, citizens are allowed five minutes with one additional mi minute and time's up. Yeah, you've had the five and then the additional one minute. <clears throat> so, so it was, pardon? I thought I got an additional minute. Yeah, I just gave, that was the one I just gave you when I said your time Oh, was, I thought yeah. you said I had another minute with yeah, my five minutes. It. Sorry. Yeah, that was it. Okay. Um, thank you. Thank you, Dimple. And that's all I have for public forum. Thank you, uh, Madam City Clerk. <clears throat> And thank you, Ms. Adams, for addressing the council tonight. Always feel free to do so. Next item on the agenda is consent agenda. President Byrd. Uh, yes, thank you, Your Honor. I move to accept and file all our rolls, accept and adopt all our C's, and uh, put all the general ordinance upon their passages. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion, Alderman Meyer. Thank you, Your Honor. I would like to pull 1117 and put, refer that back to committee. To public works? Yes, to Public Works. I'm sorry, which document? 1117. 1117. And to Public Works. Back to, yeah, Public Works. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Please call the roll. And that is 111 11. to 1132. Okay, Berg. Hi. Serta. Aye. Davis. Aye. Graf. Aye. Hannah. Aye. Kittleson, Aye. Clayunas, Aye. Manny, Aye. Meyer, Aye. Montemayor, Aye. Radke, Aye. Ryan, Aye. Susha, Aye. Vanderweel, Aye. Verhasselt, Aye. and Boren. Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. Communications and petitions, 1133 to 1135 to be referred. Report of officers 2, 1136 by the Director of Public Works, Engineering, submitting bid for the South Pier District parking lots, sidewalks, and terminal, promenade, and plaza walkway, lakefront, revetment, and walking pathway, and alternate number one promenade extension. We're holding that for 11.55. Would you want it? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> 1137 lies over. 1138 through 1154 to be referred. Resolutions introduced 3, 1155 by Alderman Meyer, authorizing and entering into a contract for the South Pier parking lots, sidewalks, and terminal promenade, and plaza walkway and walking pathway at alternate number one promenade extension. Alderman Meyer asked for a motion to suspend. Yes, I would like to. Uh, yes, thank you, Your Honor. I would ask for a motion to suspend the rules. Is there any objection to that? Please continue. I would like to um, take 1136 and accept and file the RO and put resolution 11, uh, 1155 and pass that resolution, put upon its passage. Okay, motion is to file 1136 and put 1155, uh, put the resolution upon its passage. Was there a second to that? Second, any discussion on that? There be none, please call the roll. Serta, Aye. Davis, Aye. Graf, Aye. Hannah, Aye. Kittleson, Clayunas, Manny, Aye. Meyer, Aye. Montemayor, Aye. Radke, Aye. Ryan, Aye. Susha, Aye. Vanderweel, Aye. Verhasselt, Aye. Boren, Aye. and Berg. Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. 1156 by Alderman Radke, authorizing the city attorney to engage the services of special outside counsel for the Common Council and Law and Licensing Committee in the matter of the hearing on the issue of the denial of license number 2302. Alderman Ratke. 
Thank you, Your Honor. I would ask for suspension of the rules. Second. There's a motion to second to suspend. Is there any objection? There be a non. Please proceed, Alderman. <coughs> Thank you, Your Honor. I make a motion to put the resolution upon its passage. Second. Motion and second under discussion. There be a none. Please call the roll. Davis. Aye. Graff. Aye. Hannah. Aye. Hiddleston. Aye. Clayunis. Aye. Manny. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Montemayor. Aye. Radke. Aye. Ryan. Aye. Susha. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. Verhassel. Aye. Boren. Aye. Berg. Aye. And Serta. Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. 1157 through 1159 lies over. 1160 and 1161 to be referred. Report of Committee 6, 1162 by law and licensing, recommended <clears throat> denying beverage operators license number 7175 based on his lack of cooperation with the committee. Alderman Ratke. Thank you, Your Honor. I ask that the resolution or report of committee be accepted and adopted. Second. Motion and second, under discussion. Under discussion is Kevin Formolo here this evening. <clears throat> He's not here this evening, Your Honor. Thank you. Any other discussion on that issue? There be a none, please call the roll. Graff. Hannah. Aye. Kittleson. Aye. Clayunis. Aye. Manny. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Montemayor. Aye. Radke. Aye. Ryan. Aye. Susha. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. Verhasselt. Aye. Boren. Aye. Berg. Aye. Serta. Aye. And Davis. Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. 1163 by law and licensing recommending <clears throat> denying beverage operators license number 6420 based on a record of convictions related to the license activity. Alderman Ratke. Thank you, Your Honor. I'd like to make a motion to refer this back to committee. Second. Motion and second to refer it back to committee. Any discussion? There being none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. 1164 by finance recommended authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the 206 budget. <clears throat> Alderman Graff. Thank you, Your Honor. I'd move that the RC be accepted and filed and that the resolution be put upon its passage. Motion and second under discussion. There being none, please call the roll. <clears throat> Hannah. Aye. Kittleson. Aye. Cuyunas, Aye. Manny. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Montemayor. Aye. Radke. Ryan, Aye. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Susha, Aye. Vanderweel, Aye. Verhasselt, Aye. Boren, Aye. Berg, Aye. Serta, Aye. Davis, Aye. and Graff. 16 ayes. Motion carries. 11, uh, ordinances introduced 10, 1165 by Alderman Susha, Clayunas, Montemayor, Kittleson, and Manny amending general ordinance number 104 99 establishing the salaries of the part time cable TV operators. And Channel 8, Alderman Susha. Thank you, Your Honor. Being that the starting pay for the part time cable TV operators is less than minimum wage, I move to suspend the rules. Second. There's a motion to second. Any objection to that? Please continue. I move to put the ordinance upon its passage. Second. Motion to second to put the ordinance upon its passage under discussion. There being none, please call the roll. <clears throat> Kittleson. Aye. Clayunis. Aye. Manny. Aye. Meyer. Montemayor, Aye. Radke, Aye. Ryan, Aye. Susha, Aye. Vanderweel, Aye. Verhasselt, Aye. Boren, Aye. Berg, Aye. Serta, Aye. Davis, Aye. Graf, Aye. and Hannah. Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. 1166 and 1167 to be referred. Matters laid over. 1025 lies over, but lies over to September 18th. Please make a note of that. 1049, resolution number 1030607 by Alderman Graff, Hannah, Clayunas, Susha, and Boren authorizes a transfer of appropriations in the 206 budget. Alderman Graff. Thank you, Your Honor. I would move that this resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. There being none, please call the roll. Manny. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Montemayor. Aye. Radke. Aye. Ryan. Aye. Susha. Vanderweel, Aye. Verhasselt, Aye. Boren, Aye. Berg, Aye. Serta, Aye. Davis, Aye. Graf, Aye. Hannah, Aye. Kittleson, Aye. and Clayunas. 16 ayes. Motion carries. 1065 General Ordinance Number 240607 by Alderman Susha and Ryan amending General Ordinance Number 50607 
so as to correct a legal description in granting an encroachment for James Kisselak on portions of North 8th Street for the purpose of constructing and maintaining a replica street clock. Alderman Susha. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that the ordinance be put upon its passage. Second. Motion to second. Put uh, 1065 <coughs> upon its passage under discussion. Alderman Montemayor. Thank you, Your Honor. I, I'm glad to see we're moving along on this. I think the construction or when that clock is put up again, uh, a replica, I think that would be very nice, and lots of us oldsters will remember the original. I'm glad we're moving forward on this. Thank you. Oldsters? <laughs> Me. <laughs> we have a new word, folks. Lots of us oldsters. That includes me. Thank you, Alderman Montemayor. Please call the roll. Meyer. Aye. Montemayor. Aye. Radke. Aye. Ryan. Aye. Susha. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. Verhasselt. Aye. Boren. Aye. Berg. Aye. Serta. Aye. Davis. Aye. Graf. Aye. Hannah. Aye. Kittleson. Clionis. And Manny. Aye. 16 ayes. 1066, General Ordinance Number 250607 by Alderman Susha, Clayunas, Kittleson, and Manny amended the municipal code so as to update job descriptions from the Human Resources Table of Organization and the Finance Table of Organization. Alderman Susha. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that the ordinance be put upon its passage. Right. Motion and second. Under discussion. There be a none. Please call the roll. Montemayor. Aye. Bradke. Aye. Ryan. Aye. Susha. Vanderweel, Aye. Verhasselt, Aye. Boren, Aye. Berg, Aye. Serta, Aye. Davis, Aye. Graf, Aye. Hannah, Aye. Kittleson, Clayunas, Manny, Aye. and Meyer. Aye. 16 ayes. Motion carries. Other matters? Uh, Attorney McLean. Thank you, Your Honor. <clears throat> 1168 is an RO by the Board of Water Commissioners uh, with respect to uh, proposed issuance by the water utility of uh, uh, bonds, revenue bonds in the amount of 4.0 million in 2007 for various uh, water utility reservoir, booster station, and transmission main project. That will be referred to finance. 1169 is an RO by the city clerk submitting a communication from Ron McDonald requesting common council authorization for the transit commission to enter into a new contract with Sheboygan County for the provision of combined ADA Paratransit and Sheboygan County Elderly and Disabled Transportation Program. That would be, will be referred to the Transit Commission. 1170 is a resolution authorizing enter, entering into an agreement with Sheboygan County related to a wireless <coughs> mesh network. And that lies over. Second. Motion and second to adjourn. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Stand adjourned. <laughs>